Welcome, future masters of the Sword and One. You've just logged in for the first time and arrived to the first location of Tibia. It's called Beginner's Island. It's been designed to teach you about the controls and mechanics of the game. To reach this stage, you first must visit the official Tibia website, where you can create your account and character and download the client. Now, you've just been conjured by the Elder Gods and are keen to do their bidding. The client gives you specific instructions on this part to progress into the main game, so just follow along. First, click on the square to walk towards it. Next, to grab a weapon from the floor, simply click on it and drag it into your weapon slot. When the drake appears, left click on the square by its feet to start the attack. Options like Auto Chase and Auto Attack can be customized in the menu later on. Once the Drake is dead, left click on its body to open the loot panel. Then open your bag and drag your loot into it. Now you've just been approached by the first NPC, who gives you some food. Food regenerates health and mana. Dialogue with NPCs can either be advanced by typing in keywords or clicking on the words that show up on the screen in dark blue. To advance to the level above, left click with your mouse button into the base of the stairs. Then, use the rope in your backpack to climb the hole. You've just logged into the server for the first time. I'll now show you how to change a few of the controls and settings. Let's start with the map on the top right corner. This mini map shows you your current location and your surroundings. You can zoom out or in. You can also click on the mini map to travel. This is useful to go through long distances. You can press the compass on the top right to move your mini map around. You can also toggle it to see the levels above or below. Now the battle options toggle the difference between attack and defense. On top you've got full attack, balanced and full defense. On the right, you've got the auto chase options. You've got do not chase and chase. If you press the arrow keys while chasing someone, it will automatically turn off this option. Underneath, you've got the advanced PvP settings, we will get into these another time. On the left, you've got your weapon, armor and container slots as well as a ring and ammunition slot. Up here in this little cross, you can see your blessings. Blessings serve to dampen the loss against monsters and PvP. Down here, you've got a bar with many different menus. First, we'll open the skills menu. Here, you'll find information about your level, health, Stamina and fighting skills like Fist, Club, Sword, Axe and Distance. Here we've got our battle window. Here you can highlight or hide other players, monsters, party members or NPCs. Now we've got our VIP panel. This is where you can add other players, so you can check if they're online or send them a private message. Up next is the quest log. This is where you can check your recorded quests. You can also check completion or the next step. We are currently in an open PvP server. This means that if you attack and kill someone who does not already have a skull, you are committing an unjustified kill. You will then be given a white, red or black skull, each with their own penalties. Managing your kills is important, because it is part of the tactics of Tibia. 
you might need to kill someone to defend yourself or to defend a friend. If you press on your character with the right mouse button and press set outfit, you can change your clothes and color scheme. If you open the control panel, here we can personalize and change some of the game options, graphics and controls. Some important mentions on the general tab, the mouse presets and highlight mouse target. On the status tab, you can change the options of your heads up display. You can either do this for your own character or their creatures. You can choose to display their name, health, marks or icons. Pay special attention to your graphics tab. This is the place that has the biggest impact on your gameplay. Light effects, for example, are the one that decides how much shadow or light there is in the screen. Light can come from special items, fires, spells or day and night cycles. How dark a cave is also depends on your ambient light. Anti-aliasing and frame rate are the ones that determine the quality of your graphics. Having it on and with a high frame rate limit makes the game seem more seamless, but turning it off and having a low frame rate limit makes it easier for players with low internet speed. Moving on to the message tab, you can choose which messages show up on your console and which messages, text effects or spells show up on your game window. On the hotkeys tab, you can add your own hotkeys for game mechanics or like we'll do later on, spells and items. And to finish, the help tab, we can find some information about the client, rules, the manual, frequently asked questions and you can click the tutor help to open the tutor tab and ask someone for some tips. And this is the end of the tutorial. In the next video, we'll be going through the vocations. And don't forget to quest on.